the power is back. What is up, family? Too Cool TV, representing Powered by Vibes, and I'm back with another episode of Artist Discovery. Once again, apologize for the lack of special effects. These are all one cut, one take. So if I trip over my words or mess up, bear with me. Today, we're going to revisit one of my favorite artists from last year. And also, we did one this year. But we're doing another revisit of Christy K. For more information about the artist, go check out one of the previous reactions that I've done for Christy K's music. And this artist... They reached out to us, so I'll give you a shout out for checking in, and asked nicely if we could check out this new song and see what I think. So, that's what we're going to do today. This is called Born to Run by Christy K. So, without any further ado, let's put the song on. We're going to listen to it. we give you my thoughts, and then we'll talk about it after. I'm going to sip the tea real quick. Good well, my headphones are super loud. I gotta turn my headphones down, yo. My headphones jumping out the gym. So, so did I notice as a theme, like, thematically with the lyrics, that's kind of her shtick so far for the three that I've reviewed on here and with the others I've checked out. She, she kind of takes the angle of that triumphant type of lyricism, that overcoming a triumphant thing. It's a pretty cool angle. Cameraman right there, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Christy K. I want to talk to your cameraman. Instrumental, so you know, it's kind of cool. Like, you know, not, like I said before, previous reviews, I think it has kind of the rock, kind of aesthetic. This actually, it's a nice way to approach like the pop rock type of sound too. You know, with the it's just kept it simple. You know, there's really not a ton of crazy stuff happening. It's a pretty simple little guitar. Interesting. Interesting. And that's the end. Alright, let's bring it back to my beautiful face. Alright. Next section of the review. The first reactions. So when I first heard this song, that's kind of my first reaction. It's pretty cool. It's kind of what I expected, you know, for the previous ones I checked out. Kind of the rocker girl aesthetic, which is kind of cool. Like the pop rock type of song. I thought it was kind of cool. And yeah, I was it is pretty well executed. That's what I would say about that. That was my first reaction. So we're going to go for the breakdown section of the review. So for my breakdown of this one, you know, I try not to talk over the whole song, especially because I want to make sure I actually am paying attention in case there's stuff I missed when I previewed these songs. But yeah, kind of what we heard as I was talking about a little bit 
it's kind of got that rock kind of aesthetic to the instrumental, but you know, it keeps it simple. You know, it's really just, yeah, a little bit of like electric guitar, electric bass, and then some simple drum patterns going on. Just nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary going on there. Just something simple, which is all that you need. It's better to keep it simple. And you know, the way that it was done sounded pretty good, like mixing wise and everything. But the vocals I talked about is it's interesting. So I'm kind of noticing that is Christy K's thing, like thematically is a lot of it is like the kind of over, triumphant and overcoming type of lyrics like we've heard. You know what I mean? So that's kind of different than you know sometimes what you what we hear in certain genres. I would definitely say that there's a lot of pop music that does have that kind of a angle that's taken with it. But I do like that angle, you know, that's something that's definitely needed, and it's a good thing to do. And I think that you do a good job of it, too, because sometimes it's easy to come off corny when you try to take that angle. But I think that lyrically, you know, Christy K does a good job with that angle, making it come off the right way. That sounds good. So, yeah, for my, for my breakdown, that's really all I've got to say with it. You know, it's just, this one is pretty simple. Um... I, that's really all I got to tell you on that one. Now we're going to jump into the critique section of the review. This is the most painful part for me is having to watch these, think about them, and find critiques. And I listen to them again for my final verdict on them. So here's the kind of the critiques that I have. And this is why I'm a little bit nervous about these critiques. Because it's usually like, it's more so the artists, fans that come at me for these critiques. Because when I do these critiques, as I say, it's not directed at the artist is not to be mean is to it's for everybody watching all of us that make music what we can learn from this that's the angle that i want you guys to remember i'm doing with the critiques it's not you know trying to make fun of anybody or anything which obviously i'm not going to so this is a good song there's really not any reason to make fun of anyone but my critiques here reason i'm a bit nervous to kind of voice my opinion but i will because i just feel like if i'm a yes man that doesn't help anybody it's because they're kind of big picture things that I would critique that has less to do with the song itself and more big picture of how Christy K does her entire shtick. So what I was thinking of when I was checking this song out and, you know, previewing it and trying to come up with my thoughts. So the songs that I've reviewed here, the other ones that I checked out, because I do when I review people, I go and check out other songs of their work. It's the rocker kind of girl the rocker girl kind of aesthetic that's what it is that's my thing the last three songs that i've reviewed all three of them have been kind of with this rock kind of aesthetic and this rock vibe however it's just something about it and with this song in particular it made me really think about it something with it it just it's not hitting me right you know because there's something about it that it only seems like it's skin deep you know what i mean like it's it's not that the music is bad or anything. It's just something with this vibe and with this aesthetic. If I were to give my honest feedback that this song made me think of listening to it, I think Christy K going forward, you might want to rethink that. The rocker kind of aesthetic and that kind of vibe. That's just my honest thought on it. And the reason why is because I heard a couple of other tracks. Like There was a particular one that I heard that was a feature that you did that was more of like a a pop EDM kind of a song and I actually think I like that one I like how you sounded on that one a little bit better than I did the three that I've reviewed for the artist discovery series and my thought on it was it's because you're kind of your voice type I feel like you have more of a smoother type of a voice that it would go better with a lighter kind of production than this so that was just kind of my opinion of that I think for this song, I like the rock aesthetic, and I think that you are pulling it off, visually especially, because, I mean, I like the costumes and everything that you have in the video, and I think it looks great, but just musically, if I were to just listen to the song without the video, that's where that kind of critique comes into play. It just, to me, I think you might want to rethink that aesthetic, because, I mean, this instrumental was executed well. But it just left me wanting for a little bit more in terms of eerie things that are a little bit creative. And looking back at my previous reviews, I think I actually did mention that too. 
that would like to hear Chris D.K. over some more different types of instrumentals. I think I did mention that in one of the previous reviews. Now that's coming back to me. So that would be my critique here for this one. I think that the song and the execution was great. You have a beautiful singing voice. The people that are producing the music, they are mixing it well and making it sound polished. But I just think that the overall kind of angle that you're going for, like the aesthetic that you're doing, for some reason it's not it's not landing for me, at least. For this reviewer, it's not landing for me. And I just think it's maybe something that you might have a little bit more tread on the tires with it if you maybe do some different types of production. Like maybe shift more into that EDM sound like you did on that one particular track. Or maybe shift more into you know other types of sounds. So that's kind of what my opinion is on this one. In terms of the critique specifically to this song, what would have made it better, the reason why I brought all of that up is that I just felt like the beat, it sounded a little bit too... Just generic rock. Like, I'm not trying, like I said, I promise I'm not trying to be mean and bash it. I think it's good, but it, it just sounds to be like this is something that someone could make with Apple Loops as far as that instrumental goes. So, that's kind of what my issue is with it. So, there will be what my critiques are for next time and in the future songs you do. Maybe just expand and work with some different producers. I'll throw my hat in the ring. I'm, I'm a little bit busy in 2022, but I still am open for that. I don't even charge anymore for working with artists that I'm, like, uh, what's the word, that I'm intrigued by or fascinated in. I don't even charge for artists like you. If I were to work with you, just let me know. I'd be happy to work with you on some instrumentals and even mix some of your songs for you. I'd be happy to do that. You know, but that would be what my critique would be. Maybe just try working with some different producers and experiment more with some different types of sounds. And that's all I got. As far as this song goes and everything else, I thought that the vocals sounded good. You know, you did a good job singing on it. The mix sounded great. It sounds like it was big, professional sounding. It's just, that's my critique so like i said i was kind of scared to share that but i felt like i had to get it off my chest and it's one of those things that it is helpful for everybody all of us listening sometimes it's a good thing get other people to hear what you're doing and tell you what they think about it because sometimes you might be doing everything right but you might not necessarily be doing the right thing so that's kind of what my a big picture opinion is on there so Apologize if it offends anybody, but that's why I had to say about it. Sue me. All right. Anyway, time to go to the best part of the video. You know, it's kind of depressing because I don't have those special effects because these are one take videos. But we're going to take this song and compare it against other songs that I've listened to thus far in 2022. We're going to rank it on the artist discovery billboard chart. And let's see how it did. All right. So, we're going to take some Christy K, Born to Run. Let me think. So, previously, this year, we did Dead End Roads. That one was the number nine. That one, actually, it, got a, it kind of had took on more of a country rock aesthetics. So that went pretty high, the number nine. You got to think about it for a second. Hmm... I think I would go to number 12 with it. That's what I'm thinking. So now just to rationalize why it's going there, tell you what the song above it and song below it is. And I apologize too. I'm also getting long-winded. This video is over 15 minutes that we try to do. So it's ranked just beneath a knee. He's a guy I still haven't figured out how you pronounce that. Too good to be true. And just above NB, different story. So NB we just did last week. Different Story is a great song, kind of a pop song. I ranked this one a little bit above that one, just because for me, I felt like this song had a bit more polished feel. And I think that, you know, for recommending these songs to other ones, as this list is intended for, it's not a list about the quality of the song, it's about recommending it to others and what I think other people would enjoy. I think that this one has a bit more of a polished feel to it. And the rocker aesthetic, it's still really popular, so, you know, definitely 
I like this song, and I think this was a little bit above that one. However, it's just below A Knees Too Good To Be True. Problem, A Knees is a bit of a ringer because he is starting to gain a lot of traction. He's beginning to become a pretty big artist. It was mostly used for the Artist Discovery series because the producer is a smaller uh, artist that produced that song. And that's what I was going to talk about too, but I think it's a little bit below this one. I think with Too Good To Be True, the production and the kind of vision of the song, I just felt like it was a little bit, it came together a little bit better than this particular one did. And that's something that is important in terms of how you know people of the general public, 99% of everyday regular people are going to think about it. So, all that being said, let's bring it back to my beautiful face and so let's close out this review taking too long so what i have to say about it is if you're watching so i would say chris dk if you're watching first of all like i said i don't i don't want i was trying to make sure i didn't come off like i didn't like the song or i thought it was bad or that i think that you're not a good artist i tried to emphasize that i think that you're a good artist you have a really great voice you're an awesome singer and you're putting out some great work it's just that's kind of what my opinion is of what you're doing. I would just like to hear you maybe experiment with some different types of sounds in the future. Because I like the music that I've reviewed so far. But I just think that you have a little bit higher ceiling than what I feel that I'm getting right now with some of these songs. Because I think that maybe you need to break out of that box of doing the rock type of aesthetic a little bit more. Because I think that you would sound great over some different types of instrumentals. I think you would sound great over some more like the EDM type of instrumentals. Like the, the kind of trap EDM type of stuff. I think your voice would sound good. Even just a little bit more R&B type stuff. I think your voice would sound really good. You know, like maybe instead of the loud electric guitar, maybe something that's more acoustic guitar type of sound. So that's what my opinion of that is. So it's just, just a thought. Just, you know, maybe experiment with some different types of sounds. But as far as everything else you're doing, I think that you're doing great. And you're already there in terms of development of an artist. You, you got the aesthetic. You got the look. You got the voice. You got the production quality. Everything is there. So I think it's just a matter of, you know, just experiment with some different types of sounds and, you know, see what happens. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's that's just what my thought and advice would be if you even want it. Because I know some people, they don't even want feedback like that. They just want to, you know, they like what they're doing already. But that's just what my opinion would be. So what I would say to you is just keep up the good work. Keep up the great work, in fact. And, you know, just keep on developing and continue to expand your audience and roll your sound. So, with all that being said, Christy K., Everybody watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this new song, and I hope that all of you did, too. I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you. I will see you on the next review.